So now we want to uh, create a user from zero edu in the in the database and also uh, set a password for it and kind of like um, also create the database um, the flash blog database I, I don't remember what the name of the database was so let's let's check that out so we do control C to get that out uh, from there and uh, if we do a uh, see cat on settings uh, the database is blog okay so we need to create a blog database and create a username from zero edu and then uh, set a password for it so let's do that um, so we're gonna go into the to the database and enter the password okay so the first thing we're gonna do is create a database called blog Oh, sorry, I don't need the quotes. <laughs> Show databases, let's see if that's there. Perfect. So the way we create a user is with the following. You do create user. So we're gonna put uh, from zero um, edu, right? That was the name. Um, and then at, we just put localhost because it's gonna connect locally from here. If you're doing like a separate server from uh, the database server from the application server, then you would put the IP or the uh, machine name here in this uh, where it says localhost. And we're going to do identified, identified by, and we put the password. So make sure you use a, a rather strong password. I'm just going to use test in here. Okay. So press enter, and then we're gonna we're gonna need to do uh, an extra step called privileges. So grant all privileges on, and then we're gonna put um, because this is uh, um, we have to put the database uh, name. So on blog dot star that means on all the tables to uh, from zero edu at local host perfect um, so we need to um, we need to do a flush privileges so that it reloads all the um, all those um, all that user stuff so the way we try this out is we're actually going to log as the from Siri the U user. Um, I hope it was from Siri the U. Now I can, yeah, it was from Siri. Good. So we're going to do um, we're going to try logging in as the user from Siri the U with the password test that we just uh, we just did. Perfect. So we can enter and we can access the the database. So now um, we're going to modify the settings py and then we're going to insert the password that we created here with um, I press I and then include there press escape again and then I'm going to have um, so I have the host as the as this string I'm going to take that out so I do I again delete this and then just put a uh, local host. Perfect. And um, oh, we need to, well, you should put a secret key that's better than you will never guess. So that's that's that. And then remember that we have to um, uh, update this. Um, we did this on the, on the Docker blog. So now it's home Jorge apps right static images so control wq and that should be it so let's try now if we get uh, another error so we'll run the unicorn again and let's go and hit that url again 
and I'm getting an error. It says table blog dot blog doesn't exist. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So we need to do the migrations now. So that's awesome because that means I'm connecting to the database, but we haven't done the actual like uh, migration. So we'll still use the the Python manage py to do migrations, and um, uh, but we're not going to use it to serve the the data the this, the actual application. So so let's do the Python manage py. Um, DB in it. Perfect. So that creates the um, the different um, uh, different migration folders. So we do here. You see the migrations folders now there, and now we're gonna do Python manage py db migrate that uh, creates the different uh, DDLs for our blog and finally python db upgrade and that should take the create the tables and all the um the necessary um uh tables uh, i mean kind of like uh database settings for us perfect that's awesome so we should be good now and for the last time let's try the Unicorn here and see what happens. So now reload. Awesome. We have our blog up and running and this will allow us to create the, the, the blog itself. So there's a little uh, bit of extra things that we need to do, but, um, but this is a very good start um, in terms of like where we are at the, um, uh, running the application on the server.